Hello guys, this is Frank Ilo from Africa Design Studios and in this tutorial we shall be looking at how to introduce interlocking stones on your site and how to create green area, that is grasses, on your site. We are not going into detail on landscaping your entire site, we are going to do it bit by bit because I do not want to create a voluminous video that will get boring to you. So. We are going to take a look at how to create your interlocking stone and how to create your lawn area or green area. So let's hit the ball rolling. How do you start to do this? Actually, to create your interlocking stone on your site or to create your green area or grasses, I use, basically use two methods based on what I want to achieve. I can use the method of massing and sites or I can use the extrusion method. I use the extrusion method basically when, I'm when I want to create a swimming pool on that site. But if not, I use massing and site. That is very easy. That is very simple to use. But one advantage with massing and, and, massing and site is that it will not encroach on the height of your DPC. It will not shop up or it won't chop off any portion of your um, DPC height. But if you're using extrusion, whatever thickness that extrusion is, is going to be minus or is going to be subtract, subtracted from the height of your DPC, which does not speak well architecturally. It doesn't speak well architecturally. But someone may say, does it really matter? Sometimes it matters. So. Let's use the first method which I call massing and site. To use massing and site to create your, your interlocking stones or your hardscape area or your landscape, you, you have to go through site. You have, you have to go through site. But first, I want to create a boundary. I want to create fencing around this building to establish the, the size of the plot and I'm using. So let's go ahead to introduce the fencing of this building. So I go to natural ground level, click on natural ground level, I go to architecture, go to wall, then I come here on this arrow, click on this arrow to indicate the height of this fence. I click unconnected, then I put in the value. Let's say two. 2400 millimeters is the height of my fencing. So I click here, I go around the building, I go around the building, then I use my dimensions to determine the offset to the fence from the building. So I use my dimension to determine the offset of which I'm going to still delete these dimensions when I'm done. I'm only using them to get my offset. So I click here and go here. Okay, when I've done this, I want the front, the offset to the front to be like nine, nine meters, nine meters. Then I want the offset from the right hand side to be three meters. Then on this side, three meters. Then from the back. Let's make it 4.5 meters. So, when I'm done with this, I make sure I delete all the dimensions. So, if I look at this from the default 3D view, this is what I have. This is what I have. But remember, we're going to have the gate here. Let's create the gate. I go back to natural ground level. When I come here, I go to modify, I go to split elements. Then I try to, to split this point and this point. Then after splitting it, I click delete to delete them. So I use dimension to determine the extent of this wall. So I click on it. I want, I want it to be 1,200 millimeters, which is 1.2 meters. So when I've done that, I go to this one. 
I want this to be 4,200. So, that is that. So, this is it. If you look at it from the 3D view again, this is what we have. We're going to put our gate here at the end. So, but let's go straight and put our interlocking stones. To put the interlocking stone, we'll go to site, like I said before. Go to site. When you go to site, go to massing and site. Go to tuple surface. Then your cursor will change with this uh, black square on it. I think, yeah. Black box. Click here. I click here. And I click here. When I have done this, I go to material to apply material on it. I click on this place. But it's not answering me, so let's finish it first. Finish the surface. After finishing the surface, try to locate the site. But let's go to a uh, default 3D view to see how it looks like. Now you can see how this uh, material looks like. This is not what I want to apply. I want to apply interlocking stones. So I, I select it. Make sure you hover around it. Hover around to get it selected. When this blue boundary line appears, then click. If you come to blue, then come to material now. Click on this by category. Click on this box here, ellips ellipses. So when you have done that, you try to create the interlocking stone because none is created yet. I click here. I, I, I select create new material. Then I right click. I rename it. I call it 05 interlocking. Interlocking. Then I come here, click on appearance, then I select replaces this asset. Click on it. Then this one will appear. The asset browser will appear. I go to appearance, so click on our appearance. Then from there, I go to um, site work. Site work. You see all this thing you are seeing here? Any material you want to pick, you want to select, has been grouped under a heading. If you want to work on your glass, on your windows uh, that is of glass material, this is where you come. You cannot go to flooring when you are looking for glass material. And you cannot go to glass material when you are looking for flooring. So the same way, if you are looking for anything that has to do with your site work or your landscaping issue, your like landscaping materials, you can find it under site work. If you are looking for paint for your wall, you can get it under wall paint. So everything has been grouped under a heading. So go to site work, the click on site work. When you have the click on site work, everything that appears here are tools or materials you can use for your site. But because I'm looking for interlocking stones, I'm looking for interlocking stones. There is one I'm looking for. There's a very one. Okay. This very one, pivots, square, gray. So I click on this arrow, these two arrows here. Click on it. Okay, this is not the one I'm looking for, sorry. There's a, a, a particular one I'm looking for. I think it should be this one. Okay, papers interlocking. Click on it. Okay, it will preview here for you. When it previews here for you, you now say okay. When you say okay, you can now hit escape. When you hit escape, you can discover that the interlocking stone, the interlocking stone is very small. You can increase the size of this interlocking stone so that it will look more real. So how do you do that? You still click on it again. I go to this uh, material. When you get there, click appearance to bring this preview for you. Click on this very preview. So it will bring this picture for you, showing you the dimension of the of each uh, compartment of that interlocking stone. So it, 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 it tells you that it is 160 millimeters by 160 millimeters. And this time around, you are going to increase this the value of this um, dimension. So you scroll down to scale. Scroll down to locate scale. When you come to scale, you can see it's 160 millimeters. Click inside and type like 1,200. Then click on this one to, to do the same thing. So the both of them are now 1,200, 1,200. Click done. When you have clicked done, click OK. Then if you hit escape, you will see the size has increased. It has increased. But everything about this site now is hard scape. 
want to introduce green area to this site. But before creating my green area, I normally introduce my curb stones. My curb stones. So let me uh, introduce my curb stones first. To introduce my curb stones, I go to natural ground level. When I go to natural ground level, then I go to architecture. I go to components. Model in place. Okay. Okay again. Then this time around, um, what do I do? What do I do? What do I do? I go to sweep, click on sweep. I go to sketch parts. Then I come to offset. This offset is asking me what should be the offset of my curves from my fence or whatever object I want to take reference from. So taking reference from my fence, I want it to be 900 millimeters away. So I zoom into this place, then I go like this. Then I go like this. Then I go like this. Then I come here. Okay, I go back to my offset and make it zero. So it will enable me to join this one together. So when I've joined this together, I'm also going to offset this by 100 millimeters. I go to offset here. I want to offset it by 100. Why? Because the thickness of my curve is 100. If I leave it at this point, it will go out into the fence. So but when I take it away by 100 millimeters, when I do my curves, it will just fall in alignment with this edge. So but this place is sharp. I want to make it curved. To curve this place, what do I do? I go to arc, uh, fillet arc. Then I click on this line and I click on the other line. So it will give me something. So I click on it to edit the radius. I want the radius to be 600. I click on this and say 600 and press enter. So I can now click finish. I come to edit profile. I select south. I want to stand on the southern part in order to edit. So I click open. So I come here now to sketch my curves. The height of my curve is 2 to 5. I press enter. I go to the right, to the left, 50. I press enter. I press escape to disengage. I click here and go like this 100 millimeters. I press enter. I go up 150 millimeters. I press enter. Then I join it here. Then I come here and say finish. When I've done finish, I click finish again. Then if you look at the material, you discover that the material used for this interlocking, uh, this uh, curves is step size. But that is not what I want. I want gypsum wallboard, a white material. So I click on this and click on the ellipses. When I click on the ellipses, I now search for, for my gypsum wallboard. So here is it. I click on gypsum wallboard. I click OK. So I now click finish model. When I click finish model, I am done at this point. So when I'm done, I go to default 3D view to see what I did. Okay, this is how it looks like. This is my caps. So this opening here is where I would like to put my green area. But then I still want to put another caps here, another caps here for my flowers. So what do I do? I still go back to what is it called again? Natural ground level. Double click on it. So when I've done that, I still go back to architecture, to component, model in place. Okay, okay again. I still go to sweep, click on sweep, click on sketch parts. Then I come here, I click like this. But sorry, I go to offset and make the offset 900 millimeters from my building. Now, the reference I'm taking now is from my building. So I make this one zero so as to connect these two. When I've done that, the same thing I did somewhere here what i did here so that this curves will tally with this i have to do it here again i have to offset this by 100 which is the thickness of my curves so that when i when i am done it doesn't go outside it doesn't go off the building so i go to offset here click on offset okay 
it is still at 100 millimeters so i offset this inward when i've done that i use my trim tool to complete to trim this then the one that is left i have to delete it off i delete this one after deleting this after deleting that so if i like i may make this a curve as a matter of fact let me make it a curve i go to fillet add click on fillet add click here click here sorry i go to fillet add i click on this and i click on this so it is 600 by radius so when i'm done i click on finish i click on edit profile i click on west i want to stand on the west then i click open view so i'm going to sketch this the height is 225 i go out 50 millimeters escape i come down here 100 millimeters enter i go up 150 millimeters enter then i join it here now i was able to sketch this even when this fence is blocking my view from the building because because of experience because of experience i can do this but i would advise you before you do this make sure you hide this fence or you delete this fence so it can help you see the building and see what you are doing as a beginner you may not be able to do this but from experience i was able to know where this thing will fall and how it's going to appear so again i come to material click on this and select gypsum wall board gypsum wall board where is it gypsum wall board let's see I click on this and click on this then i click finish so if i go now okay i click finish again and finish for the last time if i go here the default 3d this is the curve i have just done now the one i just did now so we have to do the next one which is this one here so i go to natural ground level when i go to natural ground level what do i do there is a pattern i normally do use so that i won't um i won't have to delay or waste my time i can copy this i'm not advising you to do that you can do it one after the other after doing the way i did this one you can do this one but because of my time i have to use this pattern so i copy this i place this here when i place this here i go to edit in place click on edit in place click on this back edit sweep then i select this and i say sketch parts so when i say sketch parts i come here click on this join this click on this join this then i delete this Take this one here i take this one here then it is time to of this place i go to flat uh, uh, let arc so you see i have already done i click finish finish again so but this one is going off it went off so i have to edit it again offset this by 100 So, we are done with the caps. The next thing we are going to do now is to put the green area, the, the, the grasses. So, to do that, we go back to site. When I go back to site, I can hide this, um, I can hide the roof. So, it will enable me to see the extent of the caps very well. So, I say hide. 
hype elements. So I can see my building and, and I can see the curves. So I go to massing and sites. I click on this time around. I will, I'm not selecting topo surface, but subdivision. Click on subdivision. Subdivision. Then come here and go here. Go here. Go here. Go here. Go here. Go here. Then I use arc to connect here. I go back to line. Then you come here. Go like this. Go like this. And come here. When you have come round, you, you must make sure you you you, you, you go round. Make sure there is no open end. There shouldn't be open end. The loop should be closed. When you are done with that, you come to material. Click on this material. Sorry. Finish the process. Then come to material here. Yeah, click on this material. Now look if there is grasses. You have not created grasses here on your project materials. So what do you do? Come to this point. Create new material. Come to default new material, right click and rename. Let's call this 06 grasses. Grasses. So I click on appearance, replace assets, double click on appearance, go to site work again. Double click on site work. This time around, look for grasses. Okay, let's select this very grass grass bermuda we have i think about four or five different grasses okay even more than that this is a grass material one two three four five six seven eight different grass materials so you make you pick your choice the choice is yours but i normally use this i click on these two arrows so it is coming up updating so this is it this is the grass material I picked this is the grass material I picked so what are we going to do click OK then hit escape go to default 3D view this is the grass material so we also do the same here for this one go back to Sites. Click on subregion. Click here and go like this. Go like this. Sorry. Let's hide the. I want to hide my concrete facial because it is blocking some views. So I click on it and also hide the way I, I hit my roof. Yes, I can see what I'm looking for perfectly now. You need to hide anything that needs to be hidden so you can get perfect job. So I want to landscape this point. I want to put green area into this portion. So I go to subregion. So I start from here. I click on the material and select the grass material I used earlier. Click on this and say OK. So when I'm done, if I look at this from the 3D view, this is what I have. I do the same thing here. I go to sites. 
I go to sub region. Then I, I sketch from here. So if I go to default 3D pick, okay, I have not applied material, sorry. So I click on it. I go to material. I select grasses. I click OK. So that's it. That's it on how to apply interlocking stones and green area on your site using the massing and site method. In our next method, I'm going to show us how you can use the extrusion method to do the same activity or the same operation. I believe this video has been of use and help to you. Thank you for watching and do not fail to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more of these videos. We produce our videos every Monday each week. Also turn on your notification button so that we